Hi, this is Julie Harland, and I'm your math gal. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you could search for any of my videos organized by topic. The store has a 30% markup rate and sells a jacket for $104. What was the cost of the jacket to the store? Okay, now remember when you mark something up, it comes from the original price of something. A common mistake people make here. is for people to do 30% of 104 and then sub subtract that from 104. So how would we do 30% of 104? 0.3 times 104, so I think that's, let's see, 104 times 3 is 312, right? And then you'd move the decimal. So it would be $31.20 that's really like a markdown, but that's not how it works. So a lot of people say, oh, I'll just do 104 minus 3120. And of course, this is in dollars. Okay, so what's that? 104 minus 3120 is $72.80. Right, but does this make sense? Well, if the original cost was $72.80, right, then what would the store do? It would, the markup would be 0.3, right, 30% of 72.80. So let's do that, 0.3 times 72.80. which is 2184. So the selling price would be 7280 plus 2184. So go ahead and do that. We're going to add those two numbers together. And that gives us a selling price of $94.64 and uh that does not match. Cuz notice they sell it for $104. So watch out. You've got to do you've got to do a percent of the original cost, right? Because we're marking something up. So watch out. We don't want to do it this way. So now we're going to do it the correct way. All right, so here's the same problem. So a store has a 30% markup rate and sells a jacket for $104. What's the cost of the jacket? Remember the markup markup rate is a percentage of the original cost, and we don't know the cost. So we have to use a variable. So we let uh, C be the cost. Okay, now that means the original cost before it gets marked up. So how much does it get marked up? Let's just call that the markup. In other words, the markup could be thought of as the profit, right? The markup is 30% of the cost. So how do we write 30% as a decimal? It's 0.3, and we have to multiply that by the cost, right? It's 30% of the cost, so 0.3C. So how would the store decide what to sell it for? Well, it would take the cost of the jacket, well, we don't know what that is, plus its profit here, which is 0.3C, and that's what it would sell it for. And we're told what they sell it for. They sell it for $104. All right, now, how do we add C plus 0.3C? Well, these are like terms. They're both C, and so you have to add their coefficients. But you don't see anything in front of this first C. So you want to think of that as a 1. Now we're adding 1 plus 0.3. Well, that's simply 1.3C. A lot of people have trouble when there's no coefficient that they could see in front of that variable. If you don't see it, remember it's a 1 and you add the coefficients. So now we could divide by 
Okay. So now I would get out a calculator to do this. And I get 80. So it looks like $80 is actually the original cost. Now look back at our mistake we made up here. Remember we thought it was 94.64 and we, we found out that didn't make any sense. Oh no, no, no. We came up with the original cost of 72.80. That's right. So remember this was a mistake because it didn't work out, didn't give us the right selling price. So we also want to check it here. If it was $80 and it was marked up 30%, would they sell it for 104? So what is 30% of 80? All right, now 30% is 30 hundredths or 3 tenths, right? So basically what's 3 tenths times 80? You can cancel out those zeros and that gives you 24 bucks. So we know the selling price, you would add 24 to the 80, right? So here's my check. 80 plus 24 is $104, so yeah, it does check out. So the real cost of the jacket is $80. See. So that's our answer. The cost of the jacket is $80. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you can view all of my videos which are organized by topic.